Is this the same guitar? So that's the same guitar. We just oiled the fretboard and I just wiped it down clean. And now what I noticed with this guitar is in this weather, you can feel this here. Right, run your fingers on the edge. See the frets feel all sharp here? What's happening is the neck's contracting a little bit. So we'll have to get a fret later on, get fret dresses on them. So what they'll do is just dress those edges or put them in, a, in the case and get a sponge and get a, a Ziploc baggie, poke a bunch of holes in the Ziploc baggie, stick the sponge full of water, you know, wring it out lightly and stick that in the case and put them both in the case and isolate them. You might be able to expand that fretboard back. back out a little bit. Yeah, because they're, they're getting sharp. I mean, it's California, right? It's desert. Cleaned up the headstock on the old 335 and then we'll clean the body. Um, yeah. Little Gibson cleaner. Well, one funny thing that these Gibsons do is when you pull off that bridge, these little guys move on you. <laughs> and boy, that can really set up havoc, so you want to tape those off. Because they, they'll slide and move on you without even realizing it. And your bridge is off when you put it back together. Oh. And then you've got a whole lot of adjusting to do. Yeah, and this neck needs to be, or this guitar needs to be rehydrated a little bit because that fretboard is contracting. You can feel the edges on those frets are sharp. That's quite a bit of contraction, but we live up in a pretty desert area, so that's bases. Again, you want to watch your eyes on these and your hands. Take these strings. The E and the A. So we're going to run that through. I'll run the fingers through. I like to thread them through first in order and then put the bridge back on it. I just realized that this one can build loads from the bottom as well as from the back. Okay, now I'm going to get the bridge. I'm going to flip these over to the high E side. Okay, so what do you need to know here about the bridge? So now we want to get the bridge back on carefully in the same position in these bridges since they are loose. You want to make sure you get them pretty bad. So what I like to do is tie them down with the first string. Sometimes I'll do the, the high and the bottom. The high E. So we've got this down. We thread that on. That's going to hold it down. Now with the high, the low E, I bring it once around and then through. Press it, pull it through the top. Okay, now we're going to tighten that up. Okay, just enough to hold that. Now let's pin that high E string. Get that down. That's it. Now we're going to clip the ends, tune them up and stretch them and then let it stretch while we pull a different guitar. Do the same thing. Cut them right about here. And again, all you guitar techs out there, don't go crazy on this. This is my own quick and dirty methodology here. Now what I do with these is you don't want those ends like that. And even if you snip them too short, they'll pull right through sometimes, especially on the higher strings. So I give the end, get a hold of the end, and give it a twist. Same thing, give it a twist so you don't run yourself through when you're tuning. Mm -hmm. 
What's it called? No man. It's just our new cable. Guitar, right? 